Good afternoon, I'm Jodie Gill and this is your afternoon news fix for Thursday the 11th of July. Sinlay Milk's shareholders have voted to take out a $130 million loan. Blake Benny reports. The lifeline comes from its largest shareholder, Bright Dairy, which under NZX rules wasn't allowed to join in on today's vote on the proposal. It means Sinlay can meet its debt payment to banks due on Monday. Chair George Adams says proxy votes cast before A2 Milk confirmed its support were 57% in favour. David Tamahiri says he'll keep fighting to prove his innocence after failing in a bid to quash his murder convictions. The Court of Appeal has ruled there was a miscarriage of justice during his trial because a witness's false testimony may have affected the jury's verdict. Danica McLean has more. The Court of Appeal still satisfied beyond reasonable doubt Tamahiri murdered Swedish tourists Urban Hoglin and Heidi Parkinen in 1989. Tamahiri says this result isn't a surprise and he's open to taking the case to the Supreme Court. Police are meanwhile reiterating their plea for him to tell them where Parkinen's body is to give closure to her family. Positive signs with falling interest rates and easing inflation. Westpac's made a move on interest rates after the Reserve Bank yesterday said it expects inflation to return within the target range this year. Westpac's cutting its 6, 12 and 18-month advertised home loan rates 25 basis points. Meanwhile, Stats NZ says food prices dropped 0.3% in the year to June, the first annual decrease in six years. Overall, annual inflation figures will be out next Wednesday. The Justice Minister says dairy owners advocate Sonny Corshall is a good fit to chair a ministerial advisory group for retail crime victims. Paul Goldsmith says the dairy and business owners group chair will lead a team of five or six who will bring proposals to the government. Goldsmith says he wants a particular focus on retail crime and a strong spokesperson who will push hard. We're quite ready to accept that uh, Sonny and his group will make us quite uncomfortable as a government because they'll be pushing us very hard and we are up for that because we know uh, that change has to happen. People are being begged to stop feeding Kia after five have been killed by vehicles at viewpoints on Fiordland's Milford Road in the past three months. Autopsies have confirmed blunt force trauma and the birds were all in otherwise good health and condition. The Department of Conservation says feeding the birds draws them to the road, putting them at risk of being run over. It's asking drivers who see the charismatic parrots to slow down and take care and not feed them. In sport, pick and stick seems to be the All Blacks' selection motto for Saturday's second test against England, with halfback Finlay Christie replacing TJ Perinara, the one injury and forced change to the 15 for Eden Park. Ben Old is thrilled his new French football club son Etienne has immediately cleared him for Olympic duty. And the value of the NBA has skyrocketed with its new media deal, jumping to a record $124 billion new New Zealand dollars over 11 years from the 2025-26 season. I'm Jody Gill. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB newsroom.